everyone! Welcome back to Cook Like Japanese channel. Today we are making Buri Daiko, which is shimmered yellowtail with white radish. Japanese word buri is yellowtail and daikon is white radish. The dish is super popular here in Japan, especially in the winter. It will take a little time to make it, but the method itself is super easy and it's super yummy. So why don't you try making it at your home? Alright, let's get started! Alright, main ingredients for buri daikon is only two. Number one is, of course, yellowtail filet, and the other one is white radish. Plus, we need ginger for both seasoning and for garnish. We got three steps to make it. Step one is to cut the white radish and yellowtail into bite-sized pieces, and put some salt on yellowtail filet, and leave it for about five minutes. We do it for removing the fishy smell from the filet. Step two is to shimmer the cut white radish for about 5 minutes from the cold water and remove the shimmered radish out from the pan and dip the yellowtail filet for seconds into the hot water and put them into cold iced water. The last step, step 3, is shimmering. I just start with white radish first with 500ml of water plus 200ml of sake. Put 4 tablespoons of sugar and milling, put in the droply and shimmer it for about 20 minutes with medium low heat. Then put the yellowtail filet into the pot and shimmer it for another 20 minutes. Then put 4 tablespoons of soy sauce with 6 slices of ginger. Put the drop lid on again and shimmer it for another 10 minutes. Plate it, pour the broth on it and put the matchsticks cut ginger on it for garnish. Okay, that's it. Why don't we go on to step 1? Alright, why don't we go on to step one? Step one is to cut the uh, white radish and yellowtail into bite-sized pieces. You know, this is optional, but if you got this leaf on it, you can use it for garnish. Just cut it into one inch. Yeah. After you wash it, I just peel the skin. This is called katsuramuki. Make it a bit thick. Move white radish, not the knife. Okay, I finished peeling it, then cut them into half. And if you're not lazy, please do this mentori. That means don't leave the edge sharp. Right now, I finished up all the mentori like this. Can you see that? Then go on to ginger stuff. So why don't we go on to ginger stuff? You can peel the skin of ginger with a spoon. Right now, we make six slices with the several much six cut ones. That would be nice for much six one. Yeah, just set aside for garnish. Then make six slices. Okay, why don't we go on to yellowtail stuff? All right, now we cut the yellowtail into bite-sized pieces. Add some salt on it and leave it for about five minutes. This is too big, I guess. Yeah, that's bite-sized pieces. And leave it for five minutes. Alright, we're in there. Why don't we shimmer the cut white radish? Start with cold water. Five minutes. Okay, now five minutes have passed, so why don't you put the shimmered white radish out of the pan? Okay, like this. And then prepare cold water with ice. Then with a paper towel, wipe some excess salt or water. Okay, like this. And get it into the pot. Just for seconds is alright. And then put them into cold water. Try not to break the filet. Alright, it's well done, I guess. Right, step three is shimmering. In a frying pan like this, pour 500 cc of water with a 200 cc khaki. Sugar, four tablespoons, medium, four tablespoons. Yeah, put the radish back into the pan. Alright, now it's boiled. Put the chop lid on, turn it down to medium low heat and shimmer it for 20 minutes. Now please do not forget to put out the water out from the yellowtail filet. Alright now 20 minutes has passed so why don't you put the uh, yellowtail filet into the pan. Be careful, try not to break the filet. Okay now it's in the pan. 
fat B drop B on again and shimmer it for another 20 minutes medium low heat right now another 20 minutes has passed so I'm going to do the uh, sliced ginger with 4 tablespoons of soy sauce okay and pour some blows and white radish and yellow paper to back the drop lead again and shimmer it for another 10 minutes okay another 10 minutes has passed so it's done but uh, I recommend you do leave it for a while because it will make the daikon more tasty leave it while and you can plate it with the uh, room temperature or you can reheat it whichever you like just turn over the white radish with the spoon it looks great why don't you leave it for a while all right now a couple of minutes has passed uh, since I turned off the stove so I guess it's time to plate it okay in this case I reheat it for a while start out with the uh, white radish then put the yellow tail carefully looks lovely isn't it okay then pour the gloss on it and for garnish I heat it with a microwave heater leaf of white radish and with the uh, much steak cut ginger all right now shimmer the yellow tail with white radish is ready to eat looks lovely isn't it all right now you know to make shimmer yellow tail with white radish isn't that difficult all you need is just time but the taste is super yummy so why don't you try making it at your home all right thanks for watching uh, please put thumbs up button and subscribe if you like this video and please leave some messages down below okay take good care and see you in the next video arigato see you bye bye